Overwhelm is not value. I repeat, overwhelm is not value. Um, when it comes to coaching, uh, a lot of people, when they roll into programs, automatically believe that like when they're inundated with a ton of content or a ton of work, that the person who's coaching them is somebody that's an expert or knows their craft or that they're constantly trying to give them value to keep helping them. But the issue is, is that when you're joining a program, you should understand that like there's genius and simplicity. There's brilliance and simplicity. And when you hire somebody like myself, like a coach to help you uh, get through a process to help you get from point A to point B, our job is to help to expedite that process. Our job is to help to eliminate those distractions, eliminate those, those roadblocks so you can get to your end goal quicker. But if coaches are adding more obstacles or adding more distractions that are inhibiting you from getting to your end goal uh, faster than you could by yourself, that's a problem. And so it's really, really important that you or anybody else who's deciding to work with a coach or joining a program or enrolling a course understand that like, okay, there is a desired program promise. There's a desired outcome. And whatever those modules are, whatever those learning lessons are, they should be helping you get closer and closer to that end goal, that end promise. But if there's any content that's added or is that additionally being added um, that's not helping you to get closer to that end goal, then that's unnecessary. And that's just a, um, a consequence of overwhelm. And like regardless of whether this overwhelm is intentional meaning that uh, coaches are intentionally trying to slow you down and keep you in their orbit so that they can make more money off you, or if they're unintentionally slowing you down by thinking that adding something to their program, to their course will add value to you, it doesn't matter because the fact of the matter is that you're being slowed down. And this is what I call having that bottom line mentality. When you're like, hey, this is my objective. This is my end goal. I have to get from point A to point B. And if anything is slowing me down and not helping me to get there faster, then it's something that's detrimental to my success. And this is a lesson I had to learn the hard way, but because of my experience being an entrepreneurial educator for the past 10 years and having those you know, 17 years of also entrepreneurial experience myself, I've come to really understand that there's a, a design process that any course, any program I create has to lead to specific outcomes. So for example, my Chaos to Cash Flow program is designed to help you construct a proactive, profitable, and proven business model. And I've broken that down into four phases. Language market fit, product market, no, a founder market fit, language market fit, product market fit, and systems market fit. Now there's 10 modules that cover those four main steps. But each one of those modules is going to help you get closer to knocking those four steps out. Like, for example, founder market fit is addressed in one module. Uh, language market fit is addressed in two to three modules. Product market fit is in two modules. Systems market fit is in three modules. Something like that in terms of that breakdown. But the thing is, as you complete each module, you get closer and closer to that outcome, to that end goal. And I can't add any more or any less to that program because it's perfectly designed to help you um, achieve that, uh, that end goal without ad additional overwhelm or burdens. So additionally, also understand that like there's going to be work required in whatever program or course you're joining or want to fulfill. But... You know, you doing that deep work and figuring out how to solve your problems, that's a part of the process. The difference between that natural work and overwhelm and overwhelm is when you're confused. You don't know where to begin. You're not making any progress. You feel stuck. And no course or program or coach should be getting you stuck intentionally. Like they should have the systems, the checklists like I have, the processes to keep you going forward and uh, accomplishing whatever you need to accomplish. So this is kind of like my quick tidbit for today is just to understand that like overwhelm is not value. Don't think that just because a program or a course has a ton of information in it that it's going to be valuable to you because that's that's not the case. They should be you should be paying for high value. You should be paying for simplicity. You should be paying for a fast track. And this is what I offer to my clients, a fast track, high value and simplicity to help you um, repair and grow a profitable business from the ground up. So, like I said, really understand the difference between overwhelm and work 
and just don't accept any program just because it's full with a bunch of information or knowledge. Because a lot of information could be misinformation, it could be disinformation, um, both of which either intentionally or unintentionally slow down your progress. So um, take care, talk soon, and let me know what you think about this video because this isn't really talked about a lot. You know, not a lot of people really discuss kind of the darker side to coaching or course creating, you know, when it comes to intentional overwhelm because there's a lot of people in this industry that are just jam-packing crap into their programs um, knowing that a lot of this information is going to keep people stuck. It's going to have them paralyzed. It's going to keep them um, more in their, their network so they can leech off of them. And for me, I fast track your, your growth. I don't want people to be stuck anywhere because you have to grow with the flow and me impeding that progress doesn't help you out. So uh, yeah, curious to know your thoughts about this video.